Hey guys, I'm Casey Hollins. It's Wednesday, June 12th, and here's what you need to know. Puck fans, hockey's holy grail is finally here. In terms of matchups, it doesn't get much more classic than this one between the Bruins and the Blackhawks. In fact, it's the first original six Stanley Cup matchups since 1979. Sportsnet's hockey insider Chris Johnson wrote on Sportsnet.ca that the Blackhawks and the Bruins each have the chance to become the best team of its generation with a Stanley Cup victory this year. I would agree. I mean, if you ask me, a lot more is at stake here than this year's trophy. Speaking of finals, the NBA is right in the thick of it. The Spurs went to work on the heat last night, making the reigning champs look like wannabe contenders in their 36-point win. Oh, and they also set a three-point record. If you're wondering what that three-point shooting clinic looked like, this should give you a pretty good idea. Danny Green and Gary Neal's shot chart from tonight's game. Obviously, probably not exactly accurate. Sadly for the Spurs, everyone will be worrying today, though, instead of celebrating as Tony Parker awaits the results of today's MRI on his hamstring. Deep breath, guys. It's just tight. He's going to be fine. Last but not least, last night the Dodgers gave me a reason to use one of my favorite sports alliterations ever, a baseball brawl, and the Dodgers 5-3 win over the Diamondbacks. Arizona's pitcher Ian Kennedy hit LA star rookie Yusil Puig in the face with a pitch, which obviously didn't go over well. But then he hit Zach Granke with another high pitch, and that really didn't fly. Men flying out of the dugout, subsequent punches were thrown, and ejections handed out, six in total. And I would expect some suspensions today. Come on, boys, was it really worth it? I mean, does anyone ever even land a solid punch during those things? If you want to watch the brawl and read more about the goings-on at Dodger Stadium last night, we've got it all at sportsnet.ca. That's all you need to know, but stay tuned later for Hit or Miss.